You may think that the only way to read a Kindle format book is to buy an actual Kindle device. But that's not true. You can read Kindle books on your Mac, your iPad, your iPhone, or your iPod Touch. All you need is the free software that Amazon provide. So here I've opened the App Store on my Mac, but if you visit the tip at it, the tip itself at MacTips.info, you can see a link to where to download the software if you prefer. So I'm in the Mac App Store, I've searched for Kindle, and it's found this possibility. If I click here on the name Kindle, you'll see that it gives you further information, screenshots, other people's comments, and so on. Now, I've already installed this software, so it helpfully says installed, but if you've never come to this page before, if you've never installed it, there should be a green button that says free, and when you click on that green button that says free, it should give you the opportunity to download, buy, or install the software. The software is free, so when they say buy, they don't actually mean handing over any money. So I clicked that link, I downloaded the software, now I'm going to quit the App Store, and instead I'm going to come to the Finder, and here's the software that downloaded. If I double click that, it opens up and you can in fact see that I've previously bought quite a, or, or got samples of quite a number of books and if I wanted to I could read any of these on my Mac. I'm just going to hide that though and instead come back to Amazon.com on the web on my web browser. So I've opened up the Amazon page and now I'm going to look for a book by searching for it. You could also uh, just search for an author's name or there are all kinds of searches you can do. I might uh, restrict that to the Kindle store perhaps and I want to search for temp 22 tempting time savers for Mac users, a book I can heartily recommend. So we'll search for that one. And here it is, it's found it. So let's click on that. I just need to scroll to the right a little bit. Now, once you've read everything there is to read and you've uh, had a good look at, at this book, you can decide to do a couple of things. One would be to try it for free. And so you can simply send a sample now. I happen to have a number of devices registered with Amazon and so I can choose which device I'll send it to. I don't have this book on my uh, Mac, so I'll select Miraz, Miraz's Kindle for Mac and choose Send Sample Now. Before I do that, though, I'll draw to your attention that I could also buy the book, give it as a gift, or add it to my wish list. However, let's send a sample now. So Amazon takes a moment or two, sending the sample doesn't cost you anything and it tells me here it's being sent free of charge to my Kindle for Mac. So let me come back now to Kindle on my Mac and now after a moment or two and after syncing you can see that it's delivered the sample to my Mac Kindle software and it has this nice sample banner on it. If I double click that book, I can now actually read it on screen. Click the arrows here and away you go. Now the sample of a book is just the first amount of it. Um, the amount that you get depends on how long the book itself is. I'll click library to go back there. Now this works in the same way on your iPad iPod Touch or iPhone because you can send a book or a sample of a book to any of those devices and in fact you can read the same book on more than one device. So I hope you'll take a look at 22 tempting time savers for Mac users by using the free software on one of your Apple gadgets. Do remember to look at the tip itself at the Mac Tips archive where I give you some extra links and some extra information.